All right, welcome back to the Zotac Cup. I'm Refkin, joined today by Blisk, and we're just going to hop right into the action. Spawning the top left corner of the map, he's red, he's Zerg, he's from the Team Acer. Give it up for Bly. I'm just appreciating the intro right now, but in the right-hand corner, we have the Protoss pieces. It's Chaos. Now, I don't actually know too much about Chaos. And as uh, we kind of talked about before, he, was, he did have a platinum border. But if there's one thing I've learned at this point, you shouldn't judge a player by their borders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They often are uh, a little bit better than that. On the uh, Zotac website, he's listed as someone named Casado. So I don't know if that's uh, if that means anything to anybody. But this guy is relatively unknown to us. One thing I do know going into this series before we even get into the thick of anything is Bly's PVZ is really good. And it's because he's this really aggressive player that will catch you out of nowhere like... Oh, you got six lings early on, but it wasn't an all-in question mark. Like it, it's hard to deal with Bly's builds, even when you see them. Yeah. And have you um, ever have you ever actually played against him? Just curious. Uh, no, not against Bly, but I've seen him play a lot. Like, but to me, he's always the muted dominant player. But recently, we've seen him go roaches and stuff like that as well. So, can't exactly mark him down as only muters. And he's actually opted to go for the natural with the hatchery, hatchery first. As in like, lately I've seen a lot of Zergs go for the gold base straight away. And I think uh, maybe in a month or two you'd see that coming up more dominantly. Like Zergs just taking that gold base immediately. Uh, and then the natural, stuff like that. Although it's really susceptible to cannon rushes, it's still a really good opener. And Man, Chaos cannon does go rushes. for the gateway op <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's just freaking every game of like Daedalus in any Korean like tournament lately, cannon rushes and that wall off at the t bottom of the ramp has just been combination hilarious but a little bit insane to see because cannon, like cannons aren't uncommon, right? Like they happen. If, if you leave the door open, why not go for it, right? But yeah. some of these new maps, the cannon rushes are being taken to like this insane extreme. <laughs> I was... I haven't actually seen that many, but I do hope I don't face them. Uh, looks like Chaos going for two on gas, really standard, and not even making that zealot, so it's actually just gonna go for that nexus straight away before the gateway warp gate tech, and probably after the warp gate tech he's gonna rush out a mothership core here. Yeah, that's kind of the, the really yeah. nice nuance of Protoss is there's not a lot to their early game because you've got a lot of the same buildings. You can't really change up the build order. It's not like Terran where you decide to make three racks instead of like a factory type thing. But you can watch their gas counts and it really does tell you what they're indicative of. And that's why scouting information is so big. Bly's Overlord sitting here, he can clearly see it's just two and two on each. So he knows that there was nothing crazy like a Stargate coming his way or Dark Templar even anytime soon. Yep, and immediately as he sees the Stalker being Chrono Booster, he just pulls that out and lets his scout another time. And Mothership Core out right now, and Chaos could use this to scout a bit since he has a Stalker coming out, but looks like it's being defensive for now. And yep, moves it only when the Stalker's out as well. And a sentry to follow this up. And behind this, he's gonna be uh, making probes here. Maybe drop down two gateways for a pressure. What we do see here is a little bit interesting too, is it's not one Queen that's been rallied forward, but two, because he's actually going to need two to defend with. I mean, there's four links popping out, but again, there's always that threat of that Mothership Core being such an yeah. annoyance. You pair it with a Zealot and a Mothership Core will tear down a Queen. Really, really smart move, I have to say. And it times out with his natural Queen really well as well. So he has that inject at the natural First and one. two Queens at the third to deal with pressure. And like with that extra Queen at the third, it can spread creep as well. So it spread, spreads creep not only towards the natural, but also it's closer to the Protoss base. So, like, once it has two creep tumors, he can spread two directions. <laughs> if that uh, makes sense. No, it makes perfect sense. I just want to update chat real quick. I'm casting today with Blisk. He is a player from the C region, mostly, guys. Maybe you've never heard of him. He's a really talented Protoss, though, and I believe you were even featured on the oh. player booth for what, what was that, IEM? Or I'm yeah, trying to remember what. I was in IEM. I just remember tweeting it was like looking good in that booth blisk. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, it was the first time I was in the booth, so it was pretty fun and exciting. Like I was doing random shit to the stream and stuff, like giving hearts out and stuff. 
Well, that's oh, a lot so of links. Yeah. Speed's gonna finish soon. That's way too many links for uh, Chaos to get a lot of damage done. He's gonna be able oh, to get some good kills God. with these ults if he could have walled off that ramp. Ooh, sick time warp though. Like it negates uh, Bly's opportunity to try to surround the Gosh. zealots and, and he didn't even lose kill anything. So many of them. Yeah, he yeah. didn't lose a single zealot to that. Three more zealots on the way as well, and he's got so many zealots here. No spine crawlers, so as long as he keeps the keeps the zealots clumped, he's waiting for metabolic he's boost. It's two in game seconds away. Oh there we go. God. Now finish oh, up queens. Oh man, the queens are trying to focus down oh, that mothership core. And oh, does get us around on half of the zealots. He should be able to clean this up. He, he's got roaches on yeah. the way too. So I mean, this was really well held out of Bly. Did not over drone. Didn't under react to this. And didn't even and lose the queen in the end, so really, yeah. really well held. He pulls down two of the queens as well, and that's going to delay his creep. Ooh, wow. Chaos hallucinated. Scared him, yeah. Scared yeah, him right on the main. main. Pulled off all the drones. <laughs> By a little bit overreacting there, I... but it was, <laughs> yeah, so it, it was possible, so you can't really blame him for it. Oh, no, absolutely. It was, it was really smart. It would have been terrible if he didn't pull off and that was a real Oracle, yeah, but exactly. it's worth noting he did throw on swore callers at each base, too. So now very aware that that could be a possibility. Going to play it a little bit safe. It's kind of one of those moments like, uh, like oh, great. I thought he was just warping on Zealots. I didn't realize there was an Oracle follow-up type thing, like, if that were to happen. Yeah. Uh, looks like Roaches did try and knock out the front door of Chaos, but unfortunately we're driven back. Both players on a pretty nice worker count, but of course for Bly, he's not only mining off of a gold, but it's his third base up over his opponent too, so ec economically, he's going to be able to just throw units away in a little bit of time, and that's kind of the point of the gold base. Like, you really want to bully your opponent with your economy quickly. You see players do it normally with a third base, and it's not usually too much of a threat, but with a gold base, that's an, that's like double your ling amount right there. Yeah, and I find it interesting why Bly actually didn't send his Overlord into the Protoss base while he was getting harassed. It's actually a really good timing because behind pressures, Protoss usually look to tech. So right now he does send his Overlord in and he does scout an Immortal. And he should know that this Immortal Sentry follow-up is coming. He scouts what? four additional gates as well. It's not the Immortal he's going to see though. It's going to be the Warp Prism popping out with the extra gateways. Oh, suddenly becomes a little bit more paranoid. One. Yeah, he saw one Immortal one. I was on his camera view, so yeah. Just one though. That is so many sentries paired with it though. And they do have a, a pretty healthy amount of energy, nine sentries in total. It's not going to be too... Are... Yeah, the stalkers are awkward and really yeah. out of position, but looks like they will kill the roaches. Roaches are going to try and get that pylon down. That'll be huge if they can stop the reinforcements. Yep. So and, both pylons but fall. But he does clean up all those roaches, so that might be a little bit... Whoa. Actually, Bly already has four spine crawlers right at the middle yeah. of the intersection between the third and his natural. And even Swore this... Crawl is right there. That's... <laughs> this what? isn't going to stop this, this push, crawl. though. I mean, this will help delay him by a little more time. If the Queens are pulled with this, yeah. then maybe it's a little bit better. He's throwing down he additional Spine push. Crawlers. He knows how badly yeah. he needs these. He has to flank with this, because, like, with those Spine Crawlers, it's much easier to force field. Where are those... Where is the... Oh, the War Prism is actually going to the main here with three Zealots, and he's actually going to pick up that Queen. Ooh, that's going to be rough. Bly, yep. of course, can't afford to pull any reinforcements back. Sentries on the front lines, though, are just being busted down like nothing. I'm not sure if that's a mistake here out of Chaos, as he does kind of give away about four Sentries there for free. Ling's coming from oh, the behind, coming. but yep. still holding to this. on the flank there, but uh, his forest fields just didn't allow the Roaches to get up to him, so he's dealing with one pack of units at a time. And his zealots are dealing enough damage in the main, I think. He's he, killed he pulled, off already like, 10 workers. Yeah, he's going to get the Hydrals down here, which is going to hurt Bly just a little bit. But uh, Bly's still in this game. He held off the main attack for us, which was the biggest deal. And, of course, killed so many sentries in the process. But uh, this this attack in the main, oh, man, it might. No, it's not going to get the lay. Not with the Roaches coming in now. But that was getting a little bit scary. It's going to be incredibly low. He might still get Are you serious? Oh, he, he still, still gets get it. it. Yeah, wow. And okay. That is going to hurt. That, yeah, Kale should know that all the units are in the natural right now. He should push up to the third. Yep, but he's just what he's engaging doing. the static defense right now. So a uh, little bit of a missed opportunity. But he still this, has some sentry energy. This is way too many roaches. He doesn't have enough. He lost too many sentries uh, in the initial attack. Roaches get right on top of this. The immortal gets focused down. So a couple more sentries to follow suit. Forces are just put down out of desperation. And Chaos is in full retreat. Yeah, not the best force fields. He could have done much better there, but it's two base against two base now with less Well, economy. it's gold, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, all right. So he's actually kind of even, I guess. I don't but, want to say... No, I'd say Chaos is behind, man. It's I mean, a gold base is such a big deal. 
And it's oh. not like Bly's playing with gas with tens of units it's like still a hole in that force field. I don't know how it's, those It's barely are squishing cast. up. But <laughs> even the ones locked out aren't even gonna matter. He's got enough in the main already. A couple more force fields being thrown down, but these walls are gonna be torn down as well. Chaos looking to be in a bit of trouble. Bly may have lost that base, but he took a fourth behind this. He's reestablishing his main and he's cleared out most of this natural base. This is looking all but over here for poor Chaos. Yeah, Bly just having dealt with the the pressure just well enough and have preserved enough of his units to have this counterattack do just fatal damage and the GG, GG does get called. Well played by both players. Kind of like what I'm talking about with Bly though, like <laughs> he's hard to deal with no matter what. <laughs> you might look like you're in a commanding spot, but realistically, I mean, Chaos made the right moves. Sniping on that layer was huge. No <laughs> Hydralisks available, but still in the end, couldn't quite deal with it. Yep. And guys, if you guys don't know, 